So this review was requested and I thought, uh, you know, since there are no big releases this week, why not? Hello and welcome to Nolly Goodfellow, a channel where I talk Nollywood. And today I'm going to be talking about Different Strokes, which is out on Prime Video. It's been directed by Beard and Stephen. The story is of four friends, all of whom are married. And as everybody does, they too want happy marriages. But they all have their own problems and have to bear their own crosses. Different strokes for different folks. Different strokes for different folks, as they say. One of them has a husband who is cranky and has anger issues. Another one has a husband who is so into his work that he can't or does not attend to his wife's physical needs. Uh, the third one, who seems to be in a perfect marriage, has issues with her loud, disparaging mother-in-law who calls her barren. Uh, and the fourth one has a husband who is a... Mm, how do I put it? He's an out-and-out out there is no way of saying that. There is no way of sugarcoating it. Now, this kind of movie format about female friends and dealing with their own problems is not something that's new to Nollywood. Uh, there are loads of films that are, you know, in the same format. And how common this theme is, is actually not a problem because it makes for stories that delve deep into societal and cultural issues. And uh, there have been some really good movies in this format as well. Like uh, my favorite being The Perfect Picture from Ghanaian director Shirley Frimpong Manso. And, uh, but, but here the problem is the pitching of the story. Uh, it's, it's high on melodrama. The characters are all black and white. And most events and, the, you know, happenings in the movie are just too extreme. Uh, like the mother-in-law goes all out, guns blazing. The <laughs> husband I just mentioned, he ho he doesn't hold back at all. The domestic violence is a uh, a bit too much. And overall, there are many cliches that the movie resorts to. Another issue I had was with this one storyline where one of the friends goes after this other friend's husband. No, that isn't the issue I had. The issue is that they showed that she was enabled by this ring that was given that had some black magic to it. Uh, you know, then that actually feeds into the stereotype of a Juju performing husband snatcher. And that to me felt totally unnecessary because the same man's infidelity had already been established by then. So by bringing this whole angle of black magic all you're doing is maybe taking the blame off him. I don't know. That is the way I looked at it. On the plus side, I do like how the four stories have been treated with equal weightage and screen time. And uh, Beard and Steven never fails when it, when it comes to showing dynamics between the different characters. And this movie is no different. Another thing I liked surprisingly were the dialogues. Uh, okay, they were not mind-blowing. But then they were natural. They were perfect for every situation. And in some places, the sarcasm was hilarious. I, I wish we had that type of sarcasm in actual Nollywood comedies. I mean, they were really funny. Uh, moving on to performances, Blessing Enze stands out as the victim of domestic violence, apathy and body image issues. Uh, she has done a terrific role. Uh, Mercy Johnson, as the rich yet friendly approachable Lydia, projects this sort of uh, trustworthiness and that is very important for the character. Mosun uh, Silani Udwoye, who's also one of the writers, has done her job well on screen as well. Lillian Esoro, or Esoro, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, uh, but yeah, Lillian as the glam sex-deprived wife adds a bit of sauciness to the film. The men have also done a good job. Latif Adedimeji has an over-the-top character and he's played his role well. Uh, Demi Okanlawan embodies this, the, this regret of a man whose anger issues have driven his wife and kid away. Jim Ike is good as the rich husband. It isn't very different from what he usually does. 
but he's a good fit for the role. And uh, Daniel Etimefion probably has the lowest screen time among all uh, the main actors, but he's done a good job as he always does. In conclusion, I'd say Different Strokes does not have anything different uh, to offer. It is a run of the mill Nollywood. Yes, it does talk about important issues. But I wish it were a little more measured. That would have gone a long way. And uh, that's it for this time. If you have any other movies that you'd like me to talk about, do let me know. Do also let me know what you thought about Different Strokes and what you thought about my views on it. Do leave a comment. That really helps me. Uh, do like, share, subscribe. Till next time, this is me, Nolly Goodfellow, signing off. Bye.